New from Kenner's Star Wars collection, the Millennium Falcon that you put together. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun. This is where the fun. This is where the fun begins. Who's the big guy with the muscles? This is where the fun begins. Who's the big guy with the muscles? All right, everybody, welcome to Yes, Have Some Toy Anxiety. It's Tuesday night. It's 9.30 Eastern. And we are ready to talk about toys and action figures. Hello. My name is Craig Goldberg. I'm here with you live. Feels good to be live. Yes, Thank you. Is. Thank you. Thank you. We got a full house tonight. We got the whole YHS crew here. Let's go ahead and start introducing people so people can understand who they're looking at and who they're talking to and who they're listening to. <laughs> Ryan Dole, all the way from Vancouver, BC. What's up, man? Nothing. Just uh, keeping warm. Uh, just a regular cold front in Canada, and we're sending it down south as a little gift from you guys. So it's, congratulations it's, for uh, making it through 2020. It's finally colder in Texas than it is in Canada. Uh, Jacob Walsh. Hey, Ryan shaved so people can tell the three of us apart a little bit. Finally. finally. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I and Abby. For the team. I blend in. <laughs> Abby, did you shave? I did, actually. Uh, <laughs> just to stand out. All right. Thank no you. playoff beard? No. <laughs> Abigail Gardner, how are you? I'm good. Doing good. well. Good, good. Well, welcome, everybody, to Toy Anxiety. We, uh, man, it's, uh, I think we are... What last Thursday we recorded, so it was only been about four or five days, but we we got a little bit off schedule last week. I still say we're catching up from 2020. It was a crazy year, but I'm I'm excited to be with you guys to talk some toys, action figures, news, latest pickups. And by the way, I'm still on a major high from the old uh, C3PO purchase last week that I'm drinking my my soda tonight out of a C3PO tiki mug. You're all yellow. I'm all yellow. I have a yellow shirt on. By the way, if you're if you're listening to this on the audio feed, I am yellow. Uh, I'm yellow. I'm yellow. I'm a Coldplay song. That's what I was gonna say. You're uh, a mellow yellow. You're like a Beatles song. I'm a, I'm a Beatles song. That's not the Beatles. No. That's fine. Um, whatever. It's all the same. Okay. <laughs> yellow well, submarine. What, there you go. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but seriously, I I I am wearing this shirt. This is from the NECA loot crate. This is the Mondo Gecko shirt. This is the I'm wearing the same shirt as Mondo Gecko, which is basically a huge achievement for me. It's something I've. But always you're not wanted. wearing it the same way. You, did you make it a crop top? Can we see your gut? I'm, I'm not crop topping, and I, and I don't skateboard live. either. So, yeah, dude, um, so give that to Abby. She'll okay. rock it. Right? She'll crop top. I'll it. crop it. At least the She'll crop top it. it, and she's got a skateboard. Yeah, I do. Well, speaking of t-shirts, I was going to show off my Padme top, which is from uh, Tatooine Traders Company on Instagram, Very which cool. they're awesome. They drop this shirt. They do look exclusive drops. Exclusive drops. Yeah. I love good, it. Good shit. Yeah. Um. So uh, anyways, I really love the NECA loot crates that they're doing. I was anti loot crate like for a, a long time because I, I, I found it to be a, a, a cheap way to amass collectibles like here's a box of random stuff curated to some interest of yours but then i did it because they're like doing these exclusive turtles crates and i'm like oh i need these <laughs> give them to me i take it all back um so abby you're gonna be monitoring the chat tonight yeah what's up everyone jessica ray owen everyone's talking about how cold it is and it's how cold it's we're all comparing like how much snow we have outside yeah. so we should you're all here go ahead and say we wish everybody well we know people are dealing with incredibly difficult uh weather and pandemics and all sorts of stuff so it's uh it's crazy by the way jake uh, i think you're really frozen but we're, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out you're, you're yeah little, i see it i little, see it a little choppy but we'll, we'll figure it out right. it's gonna work it's gonna be fine i thought jessica parker was the only one in frozen today there you go but apparently <laughs> i like that i like oh, it's so cold nice. we're all freezing we're all in frozen <laughs> Also, a lot of people are calling out for Craig to crop his top. <laughs> there will be no crop top. Dude. There will be no crop Warm it top. Up. Crop your top. Yeah. Yep. Crop that top. Crop top Craig. Crop top Craig. That's crop me. It. Crop top Craig. <laughs> hey, guys. Crop top Craig in the afternoons. It's four o'clock. There's traffic all over. I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't, ever, don't ever do that again. Okay. What if he did that voice for every 
I want to. I actually really want to. Just do it. Um, we'd, we'd get more views. Yeah. Um, Jake, I might actually, uh, I might actually start doing that. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, so, um, anyways, do we um, all have to have a dumb voice? Yes, we do. <laughs> we all have to have a dumb. Listen, toy podcasts don't have dumb voices. Actually, some of them might. I don't know. Um, but uh, <laughs> I think that's just. I think that's just their voice. Okay. <laughs> Don't criticize other people. Come on now. This is a good part. This is- I'm just I'm not criticizing. I'm just pointing out that I think it's just their voice. Yeah, this is actually a voice I've been doing. I have a full accent. Yeah, this um, is also my voice. There you go. So listen, if you're new to toy anxiety, what we do is we get together every week. We talk about toys, action figures, vintage, modern, collectibles, things like that. If you're listening on the audio feed, we thank you. If you're here live on YouTube or later on YouTube, we thank you. What we want you to do is go to iTunes and make sure that you're leaving a five-star review. Let us know what you think of the show. That helps us out a lot, puts us in front of more people. We want to grow this into a big uh, you know, a big extension of the, the Yes Have Some universe, the YHSU. Not a college, by the way. It's a universe. It's not a college. Although big extension. All we did was added one person. Yeah, but it's a big extension yeah. to me. It's we a don't big, support it's a big college. Extension. <laughs> yeah, it's a big we're, extension. we're erecting a new podcast. Yes. Dice Ryan's a big podcast. extension. And also YHS University, <laughs> that's coming later. We're going to have an accredited college where people study <laughs> Godzilla and Ghostbusters mm-hmm. and Back mm-hmm. to the Future. It's mm-hmm. going to be good. I'll get tenure. Oh, so um, teach. I'm taking Turtles... Uh, I'm taking. I'm getting a doctorate in Ninja Turtles. Yes, no, but it's got to be everybody. But everybody has to have like X Men level names, though. We can't. No, there's no Ryan, Craig, and Abby. <laughs> right, right, oh, right, right, right. Absolutely not. <laughs> Professor Crop Top and you know. <laughs> Professor Crop Top. Mr. Mustache. Mr. Mustache. My name's Sleeveless. <laughs> Sleeveless. <laughs> Sle- Sandy <laughs> Sleeveless and Mr. Muzz. By the way, all, for as much as we're talking about YHSU <laughs> University, everyone's just talking about your crop top and how they want right. to see your navel. Well, guys, YHSU. Oh, dude. I want, to see, I want to see how fuzzy your navel is. Oh, it's fuzzed. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, guys. Um, we always start off by kind of covering some, some weekly pickups, things that have come in the mail, things we've picked up. I can start us off on something that I had no plans on buying, but I couldn't pass it up when I saw it. It's the old G.I. <laughs> Joe the- Retro Cobra Commander. Look at that guy. I'm not buying any of these retros except for this one. I love uh, whatever this color blue is. It's not even just light. Abby, what's this blue? What do they call that? Um, like a light royal blue? I don't know. It was yeah. an impulse purchase. Looks, looks sort of like a periwinkle from here. Yes, periwinkle blue. Cobra it's like Commander. a navy blue, maybe? Um, I'm not in on these uh, these retros, but uh, it is a Walmart exclusive, and uh, I don't know. Couldn't pass it up. I liked it. Cause I, I Dude, had... I want your... When you die, I want yeah. your epitaph to be like... I wasn't planning on dying, but uh, here yes. I am. <laughs> but since I announced that I never would yesterday, here yeah. I am in the ground. Yeah. Um, so listen. I'm, <laughs> Is that really I'm, dark? I'm sorry. I'm not buying. Uh, I'm not buying a lot of these retros, but I, I am going to get this one. I like this one. I mean, I I own this one. I am going to get it, but I'm not going to get this one, but. Oh, yep. in your hand. dude! Yeah. I love oh my Jake God. is joyously frozen. Yeah, sorry, Jake. You're. Okay. You, we, I might have you try to call back again because should I take off and call back? Call back. Leave I'll your restart. energy. I'll, I'll come back when you get. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, leave, All right. leave your energy with here. us. All right, so Jake, Jake's gonna yeah. call back. He's gonna be back, folks. Don't you worry. Don't worry. He's going to crop his top. He's cropping um, that top. Ryan, have you picked anything up this week? <laughs> uh, I did. I got a few things actually this week. I know Brock Parker tried calling me out saying no beard, no toys, but that's not Whoa, how we roll here. Whoa, that is not how we that's roll on, here. Full beard. No, he, full beard, dude. <laughs> I got a full mustache, which means. Full Merman. Full Merman. Oh. Look at that. Now he's gone. Full right? Merman. That's Masters of the Universe Ooh. Origins Merman. What uh, what wave is that part? Look of? at that. Unpunched <laughs> series three. They 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 finally announced series. What is it? Yeah, wave five. <laughs> but here we are in the third wave of Masters of the Universe Origins. We're on the sixth and, wave uh, of COVID. The third wave of Motu. Mm-hmm. The first wave of crop tops. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I'm just trying Fifth to keep up. Wave of feminism. And the second wave. Oh, look of, at that. Oh, Right, so I got. Right. He's showed up in Canada. They're here. So we got just in time for the uh, snow. Now this is the part where nice. every week I go, oh, "Hey sorry. Ryan, where people listen." Ryan, to what this. are you ta- <laughs> Yeah, stop showing us, and you know maybe we're not watching. Okay, so this is the uh, Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary Archive Edition Adult Series Black Series Star Wars Han Solo in hot <laughs> gear. All right, so and it is a beautiful figure. Wait, like it looks like. Can we start? 
can we start calling those uh, vintage collection large? <laughs> <laughs> it's a vcl yes it's a vcl yes, this oh, is a six God. inch vintage okay six and you know so uh but this is a it looks like harrison it's a beautiful figure hey jacob look what Jake's i got, I got a, what is that an archive series uh han solo and hoth gear it's yes, a okay. uh, six inch vintage line yeah <laughs> <laughs> just calling it something different. Jake, you're not yeah. frozen anymore. This is great. This is is nice. this better? But, oh, Maybe man. I just needed to be up in the top spot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We've established at the top Craig's left corner. Annoyed. He's like, oh, this is where Craig so wants to be. Who the spot. tops and bottoms are? Is <laughs> that what's going on here? every fucking I'm bottom time. bunk. It's fine. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. Bunks. We're talking what? about Why bunks. Why bunks? Bunks. Yeah, bunks. What are you, what are you guys talking about? I want to show Camping. something off that I got. Um, Emil Shear, who is a listener of Yes Have Some podcast, and he lives in the Netherlands. He sent us this wonderful care package full of all sorts of stuff, including randomly. Now, can you get this in the United States? Sure. But this one's from the Netherlands, and it is yeah. a Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Dream Warriors, NECA, Freddy, uh, Freddy Frueger figure. Freddy Krueger figure. I'm not taking it from the box yet, but it's... Freddy uh, Frugal. I, I I have the I have the nightmare. Freddy Frugal. He haunts your dreams with frugality. He does. He won't buy anything. Um, no, no, no. Listen, I've got the I've got the Freddy two figure, and I've got all the Jasons. And I wasn't planning on getting any more Freddies. Uh, but now that I've got two and three, I might have to. You know, when they put out the ultimate, new, when they put yeah. out the new nightmare figure, I'm gonna get it if they put out an ultimate. So, um, yeah, cool stuff. But Love how that. metal is that getting that from the Netherlands? Oh, dude, we got dude. more like, stuff from the Netherlands. Yeah, I mean, really? Like, off. yeah. Can I show? I hope them it's on? like death yeah. metal. It's de- yeah. yes, it's just it's Icelandic Netherlands death, death metal, metal band in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! I hope so. No, actually, these are some VHS tapes that I was going to show off that we got from Emil. Which there's a Terminator Two, there's Police Academy, and then there's this Tasmanian Devil Stars of Space Jam tape. And I wish I could say that I was able to watch these, but they don't play they in don't our work. American. Yeah system which is a bummer but these are great for display i'm just kind of like showing them off three times don't put them on the thing i'm not gonna put them on the sound thing anymore but i'm glad that i was here to do that yeah um so uh, i got more vhs too one from jake which i just wanted to give a shout out to uh star trek the voyage home i watched this almost four times like in one week i wasn't feeling well and this became my like medicinal movie it's the one with the whales. And yeah. if you the haven't whales. seen it, yep. you should see it. Perfect. It's great. Yeah. It's the Vulcan really death good trip movie. on the 80s punk. Which is oh, like that's that. a good scene. That's I like my, that. that was my favorite scene. When the double dumb ass on you. Like when they're discussing <laughs> all the, the swears. And stuff. <laughs> that was like, this is a funny movie. And it's got the mom from 7th Heaven. Uh, so it's great. Freddy Frugal. People are talking about, by the way. I was going to say he's uh, clipping coupons with his. <laughs> he's shredding them. <laughs> he's got scissor. Oh, Edward no. Scissorhands. Sweet. Re- real quick, these are, I'm not going to show them all, but these are some Godzillas that Jake brought, uh, which was really awesome of him. Um, and I've watched them all now at this point. Not all Godzilla movies. I think I've seen like 13 out of 32. All right. Did you double check to make sure, like in cases like that, to just make sure they were Godzilla and not something else? Not porn. Um, I checked them all. So it was great. I, okay. I was disappointed. I no porn. <laughs> yeah, there's no way Jake's getting rid of his Jake's VHS. Godzilla porn. <laughs> Jake's got Godzilla <laughs> born. He might have Godzilla born. Oh, um, so that was some of my stuff. Those are my VHSs. You cool. want me to keep going? Yeah, what else more. you got? What else you got? Just a couple tiny things. Um, Just a couple tiny things. Nothing major. No Freddy Fruit. I talked about these and teased them at one point. These are my Sequest figures. I've got Hitchcock, which she's she's very cool. She's on the show. Actually, I watched an episode of Sequest last night. That was like the first really bad episode. Um, And it had this guy in it, which is Ford. Um, So these are just... Two figures. This one's kind of got a I busted I think the package. second, the, the season of uh, Sequest is called Sequest DR. stands for Diminishing Returns. Yeah. <laughs> kinda, it jumped the shark. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all this stuff, but um, Jake Stevens. Why not? Because it would literally be like a week. We got a week. For all of these, this is all edible crossover Star Wars merchandise, uh, which I've put some pictures up, but I just wanted to kind of let everybody now, know. Now, who sent you these? These are from Jake Stevens, who is from Forlom to Zuckus. Yeah. He was part of our um, Midnight Mando show, which you all, he's part of the family. So I, he sent a bunch of uh, prequels, like packages. This one actually has some fruit snacks in it, but like just <laughs> Wait, a hold bunch on, of let me see that. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is a- Jake, I had to tell myself not to eat it. Like recently, <laughs> I was like, don't eat that fruit snack. It's an assorted fruit snack. Yoda's on it. Um, 
Yeah. Eat don't it. eat that. Yeah. Don't I'm do not. That. Eat, it. But, but eat it, coward. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Frugal would do it. There's, there's, <laughs> I'm not going to. There's a lot of uh, chip packages, which I put up a picture of these. I want to do a collage, or I'd like to put them all into like a book. Like, you know. Well, dude, we're getting some them. major ASMR here with all these <sighs> chip bags. All right. St- <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, okay, and a Gilgert. So I've got I've got a couple more things to it's show. I've got two things to show, and then we can we can move on because we got a bunch of toy news that I want to cover. Um, DC McFarlane. I'm full in. I, I've dove in. I'm in it. I like it. I think these are great figures. They look good. They display well today. I was able to pick up. Look at this. Red Sun Superman. Now. <laughs> Ryan, what's going on over there? You okay? That's an awesome toy. I've been hoping that one was going to come out soon. That's it's awesome. It's a great I'm figure. You got that. It's a great yeah, figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I ever read Red Sun? No. Will I ever? Probably not. Do I know the main plot? Superman oh, goes dude, to Russia. You should totally read it. That's you know he's like the Russian Superman, right? Yeah, it's like the alternate story. Like, what if instead of landing in Kansas, he landed in Moscow? Instead of Kevin Costner's dad is Vladimir Putin or something. I don't know. It's something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Okay. Um, now this one, <laughs> this next one's going to be a hard sell for, for a couple of you guys. I think w- if predicting reactions, two of you are going to go, why did you get that? One of you is going to go, oh, dude. dude. So here I we say go. I with all of this. Gal Gadot, Wonder <laughs> yes. Woman. Is that the, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. First off, well, yeah. th- look at this. Now you've made Jake freeze. Yes. Uh, I froze Jake again. The, I'm uh, just frozen. but you need that. I do need that. If the rumors are correct, they're not coming out with a Snyderverse Wonder Woman figure. Right. And that's the one Good. you need to complete your Justice League. <laughs> Good. Good. Need exactly. is a strong word. <laughs> need is a strong word. It um, is a strong word. But, I um, use it. I need these uh, empty Doritos bags probably more than you need that. I know. Also, uh, <laughs> Jason Groski commented that this is the most Abby has talked since without Kurt dropping in, so... I think that was a positive. Am I just do I have a reputation oh. of like interrupting and I don't know. Just <laughs> not really interrupting? Here we go. I would say man, you're manterrupting. Oh, you did no, tell me no, not no, to no. do <laughs> ASMR. I don't even know who Manta is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So, um, those were my pickups. No, I mean, it was a lighter week for sure, for sure. Um, hang on, I'm not done. Ryan, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, did Jake get anything? Jake, did you get anything? <laughs> Jake's gone. All right. Um, you know, I didn't actually like physically go. Jake is just <laughs> he just okay. dropped out. <laughs> and he's uh, just gone. He's just gone. Well, that's fine. We'll we'll figure out what happens here. Uh Ryan, go for it, man. Yeah. Sorry All right. So I got uh I got six inch vintage line Luke Skywalker in Hoth. Yeah. Uh from the Lucasfilm 50th anniversary. Wave. Now, the, the face on the Luke is not quite as good as the Han update. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's uh, But you kinda, still need it. Like, you still need it. I still need it because I have the rest of the Hoth, everybody else. And I also got um, Dark Daisy. <laughs> so I got uh, the six-inch, gorgeous, um, hot goth uh, Dark Daisy. Yeah. Yeah, like... Come on, look at that art in the back too. Mm-hmm. God, man, that's like girlfriend material right there. That's yeah. one like, dude, I've been like thinking about it. Go, like, like <laughs> introduce to your mom. You know she's gonna say something fucking weird, but you do it yeah. anyways. I've honestly been thinking about this a lot. Her and then she Ryan. breaks up with you, but then your parents still talk to her. It's Ryan, I think you should write Daisy Ridley some fan mail and like ask her out on a date. I think you should do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think if anyone has a chance, it's me. Yes. Me too, dude. I've been thinking about it all the time. I would love for you to date Daisy Ridley. You this should, is what I, I think should. about. You should I cut should. out the I back really of that should. box yeah. and put it in your wallet and carry that picture I'll, with you. And I'll, I'll cut out the eyes. And uh, and then yeah. send the picture of that to Daisy Ridley. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, Daisy, I carry you in my wallet already from your Black Series figure. And I would like to take you out. Get, on a, on I'd like a to date. take you more places. I'd like to take you more places like the back of a Volkswagen. <laughs> That'll do it. This is what happens when Jake leaves. <laughs> Craig. Right? So I think Craig's uh, broken. But I think keep going, <laughs> keep going. But Daisy, but People Daisy and I it. are gonna get along great, and we're we're never gonna break up. We're gonna get married. We're gonna have a secret wedding. Okay. And uh, Kelly Marie Tran is gonna be my best man. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's yeah. I'm gonna live in Ryan's brain for just like ten minutes. I don't actually. 
Um, I want to sing at your wedding. Um, oh, you absolutely can. I want you to marry us off, Abby. Okay. Uh, well, we'll do we'll do some filking, some Star Wars filking called Wine 'em Dine 'em Episode Nine 'em. Okay. okay. Ooh. So we call it fil- like filking like. That's. <laughs> We've oh, got no. this. Is this a toy show? What's <laughs> happening? Yeah, it's a toy show. It's a toy show. We're talking about Daisy Ridley and her toys. <laughs> She's a Great. toy. All right, cool. So, anyways, um, what uh, what else, Ryan? Did you pick anything else up? That's it. That's my. That's it. That's my step. That's you my did stack. it. You did it. I did it. I, I don't a, know. I'm a, I'm a human. I don't know where Jake is. Did Jake pop up in the chat? This is almost like a WandaVision or something. He like he's, he's gonna show up on the. Gonna recast Jake. <laughs> He'll come back. It'll be like John Urquiza. <laughs> Dude, and we'll all just be like, (laughs) right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, well, we'll. Oh my God, he's ringing in again. We'll let. We'll. We'll see if it works, and we'll. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We're just gonna see. Uh, (laughs) just it says he's here, but there's no Jake. Are you there? What is happening? This thank is you most, all for watching. I this just is the most off the rails comment show. section and say thank you. <coughs> Wait, is so that annoyed. Jacob Waltz from the X Men movie? <laughs> is that a different Jake? <laughs> Ew, stop. <laughs> Jake, do you just want to maybe go to audio only for a little bit? Because sure, there, there's just no camera, so that's okay. fine. We're going to be reacting to some news and stuff. Um, you guys can hear me. We can I'm hear here. you. We're good. You're here. Awesome. We're good. We're yeah. good. on the fine. line. Jacob yeah, Walsh. You, wait, really, really quick. Can one of you just print out a photo of me and just hold it? <laughs> yeah, we That's could do that. Was, we uh, could do oh that. Oh my god! I don't like, what, do, I don't like do people this. still have printers? No. Here's the thing. I like what Ryan was saying. Just Jake, hold it up on your phone. Jake from the Yes Have Some Prime universe left, and now this is the Jake from the Fox universe is oh. now here. Did, so, you, re- <laughs> did you recast me? I we put a picture of John Krasinski. We got recast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god people this is a wild episode it is. it's Thank good you for hey so out. we got a bunch of uh we got some news to cover some reveals and stuff uh i mean because we are here to talk about toys jake you missed an entire conversation about ryan the back of a volkswagen and daisy ridley so oh, i heard it oh. i heard it i was i was watching it on my phone while i was trying to reconnect good Dude, this is so meta tonight this oh so wow cool. When you were outside of the hex. It's oh, cool. ma'am. Anyway, yeah. all right. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So, um, first of all, uh, well, let's talk about NECA for a little bit. So, today, um, this was announced a while back, but, uh, whoop, not that. Hold on. Uh, that's oh. coming later. Well, let's talk Spoiler about this. Alert. Well, we'll talk about this first since I just did it. So, this was part of a leaked um, Hasbro listing for what? Lightning Collection. So, this is, uh, po- sorry, I was, you were. You Wait. Got- yeah, I just didn't want to rock the boat. You is this boat? leaked? Don't tip the boat. What do you mean, over. is this leaked? Didn't we see this at Toy Fair? So here's the thing. These designs, I believe, are from the comics, correct? The the correct. TMNT uh, Power Rangers crossovers. So this happened in the, the Now comics. There was a TMNT Power Rangers crossover. But now um, Lightning Collection Hasbro is going to be doing the figures and uh, a listing leaked out. So um, pretty cool stuff. Mm. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I I feel like maybe I'll get the turtle. I mean, that Shredder, Green Ranger Shredder is really cool. I mean, I didn't read these comics, but uh, Ryan, what, what did you think of this stuff? I think it's awesome. I think actually I, my favorite thing about it is actually the Green Ranger Shredder. Yeah. I mean, it is cool. Mm. Yeah. Like if I was going to get one figure, it would be that one. Okay. Uh, but I'm down for... I, actually, I, I didn't want to collect Power Rangers, but I will. I'd, I'd love to get that set. Yeah, um, it looks like there's a Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger two pack, black and blue, then the mm-hmm. Green Ranger Shredder, and then there's a. Uh, I don't know Jupiter, Venus. I don't know if these. I, I just don't know. I'm not up to date on it. So maybe somebody in the chat can fill me out like who these other characters are. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, cool stuff all, all around. Cool stuff. I, I wasn't planning on getting much more Lightning Collection, but since it's Turtles, I might have to make an exception. Um, well, if we're getting a lightning collection, Casey Jones. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jake, what do you think of this? What do you think of this stuff? Those look great. I, I, um, I didn't know about this at all until right now. I, I know that we saw some sort of ninja. Maybe the comic is what was unveiled at Toy Fair, but we saw some, some sort of Ninja Turtle mm-hmm. crop. I've seen these images at at Toy Fair, but right. um, 
I think these look really cool, man. I'm I'm not a I don't own any Power Ranger stuff, but I would I would buy that shredder. Look at it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool. Um, I now I haven't read the comics, but I I can only hope that the the uh, Craig, the, you don't ever have to say. You, you can stop saying. I can I stop read saying the it. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah. when when the Green Ranger Shredder summons, when he pulls out his flute, is does he summon like a Krang's android body Zord? Is that what happens? What if it was a? I hope it's a giant splinter. <laughs> <laughs> a giant splitter. Oh, um, but um, I'm kind of hoping the Technodrome combines with the Megazord. Oh, cool. Oh shit. Um, okay, so let, let's talk about NECA now. So this I was, don't read comics. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this was revealed a while back. Uh, now we've got the full images. NECA is putting out this four pack of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in disguise figures from the animated series. It's a four pack tons of accessories so you got your four turtles with new face sculpts uh you got the trench coats and the the pants like the purplish blue whoa periwinkle periwinkle pants Mm -hmm. and uh you got a skateboard you got a hat weapons and then the the cool like uh, face mask disguises a couple pizzas um and then alternate heads for all four and then obviously the uh the the hats the famous hats that they wear when they're in, in disguise now whether or not they're actually in disguise is like let's face it i <laughs> can still not, tell i can it's tell worse i think <laughs> yeah they just have clothes on yeah it, yeah they I put on the, their disguise they put on the trench coats it's like i didn't even notice you guys so you were in those crazy Whoa. masks the masks are <laughs> scarier than their actual faces <laughs> <laughs> oh my god is that um, Pigeon Pete that it comes with? That's yeah, yeah, it looks like it. And there, I mean, there's so many deep cut references in these these turtles uh, uh, figures that come out. But um, yeah, I think these are great. Uh, no, no announcement on pre orders or price or anything. But we can assume these are going to be about hundred bucks or so. Going by the the logic of the two packs are around fifty. And then we got a couple more shots of these. We've got Michelangelo there with his. <sighs> That's so cool. With his boombox and his yeah. skateboard, just blending in like a normal teenager. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude, I think that I like how it's like it's like his fly is open and his crotch is hanging out because yeah. of the way the pants are. Yeah, I <laughs> like I that. They're awesome. like chaps, dude. I bet people are walking by like, "Whoa, look at that teenager!" Are you on your way to take the SATs or something? <laughs> look at that <my> teenager. <laughs> <laughs> is he on tiktok yeah <laughs> right 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 um a couple more images uh the four of them here jesus with, christ with the masks God. on that's those terrifying like those, you know when those adults wear baby masks <laughs> that's or like, like at the end of midsummer <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> this looks like the people that what's that invasion <sighs> movie in the woods like they break into the house uh, what, what is that what, oh what, is keanu reeves in it i don't know <laughs> Circles? Who's, who's next? Or it yeah, looks yeah. like organized. Yeah, something bad's gonna happen. It looks like organized it's crime. The purge. Crime, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ray. The purge. <laughs> Either um, the purge or a bank robbery. And then we we've got this other image here of uh, I like I like I'm gonna copy this when I get my my NECA animated. Well, of course you are because they don't have to stand. <laughs> Hold on. This is the easy way. This is the easy way. <laughs> Sitting them down. Um, now look at this look Raphael is giving Michelangelo. He's going. Ugh. Another slice, really? <laughs> <laughs> like you need more pizza? <laughs> um, really? You want to hit on a human being? You're a turtle, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm 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 super excited about this, Jake. What do you think about these figures? Oh, I'm I, I keep telling you that I'm not collecting the animated turtle figures, and I haven't been. Right. I, I only have a few of them, but I I love these. I'm I'm gonna I think I'm gonna buy these. Yeah, yeah. How about yourself, Ryan? I kind of do want them, only because Raph gives that stink eye that is like really, really good. <laughs> and uh, and and on top of that, it gets it's all four of them, so it's like if you find one package, you've got all of the turtles. Yeah. And what I like about them too is that you know they are kind of like they are wearing those like goofy pants, but they get like the hat and the boombox. I don't know. I I like that kind of stuff. Like like I said, I got the the mutagen tour turtles and stuff as well. I like the weird stuff, and this kind of falls under that for me, and mm-hmm. I would really like that. And sorry, to answer AJ's question, yes, I will go on a double date with him and Pam and Daisy Riddler. <laughs> there you go. I was going to bring that one up, actually, and uh, when you got to meet 
Uh, <laughs> What's going on in the chat? Um, oh, mostly that proposition to uh, Ryan, which is pretty tight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was like? I think Blue Chainsaw Man said something tight. earlier. Uh, I was going to say that Michelangelo figure. I don't know how you could say no to it because he's his smile makes me smile, um, and they're just very cute, especially those uh, outfits and positions and like. Now those, I see relaxed. somebody named Jeffrey Barter is asking for a shout out. Um, no, 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 you cannot. <laughs> no, <laughs> Jeffrey Barter, you don't get a shout out on. No, our show. he does get a shout out. No. Thank you for joining us, Jeffrey Barter. Um, <laughs> I like seeing new names pop up into the chat. By the way, real quick. I love that Toy Anxiety is growing. We're seeing more and more people tune in every week. If you guys enjoy what we do, <laughs> what do I say next? Tell a friend, uh, you know, <laughs> spread the word. Because I think we're different than like a lot. Like toy collectors take, in by and large, I'm just making, you know, general uh, statements here. A lot of times they take themselves very seriously. Hit serious. that notification button no, so no, you no, don't no. miss a show. What I'm saying is <laughs> I feel like we're pretty self-aware. We don't take ourselves too seriously, but we are very passionate about toys and toy collecting. So if you Yeah, for sure. If you if you like this environment that we're creating, this this is this trust tree, uh let a friend know. <laughs> it's let a f- tree. Ray Cameron I like, says What do you say? Oh, it, this is strictly about me. He says he's going to buy me a TNG <laughs> uniform tunic so that I'm properly dressed with the background. <laughs> okay. Which cool. is great. Oh, that makes what, sense. Yeah, you'll blend right in. Oh, oh dude, right. Can we if do I, a Star Trek Next Generation episode where we all look like we're on the bridge? Dude, I would totally yeah. get and in the holodeck. That's uniforms. such a good episode. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes. Here we go, here we go. I call Beverly Crusher. Next up. Um, this has been announced for a while, but this is actually starting to hit stores now. It's the Marty McFly NECA Back to the Future audition figure. Thank you, Jedi 3671. What's that? They said they love the show. Oh, thank you, Jedi 3671. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that name. Uh, now, we've got uh, Marty here. This is uh, now Denim Jacket auditioning. Who remembers the name of Marty's band? Three seconds. Three, two, one. The Pinheads. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Uh, the Pinheads. Now, they are too darn loud. They did not get the gig. But um, this is loud. very cool. This is a, another uh, addition to the NECA uh, Back is to the Future Is that a soft line. goods denim jacket? I don't think it's soft goods. but No, you, it's no. sculpted. It looks now, good, though. there's some controversy about the this hand accessory where you can see his hand fading away. Cause as we all know, Marty's hand does not fade away in this scene. His hand fades away in 1955 when he's playing Johnny be good at the enchantment under the sea dance. Mm. Having said that, yeah, it's a cool accessory. I like it. Also like uh, on a lot of the NECA figures, you can pop the hands off. Maybe, yeah. um, maybe, maybe down the line, change it. Right. The right. Yeah. Down the line. But I, I think this looks great to me. This looks better than, um, the last Even one, with yeah. the ones that have come out already. Yeah, yeah it's a good great, figure. So. Um, so this has uh, been spotted I at can Walmart. Hear that photo. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. been spotted at Walmart. Now, whether or not uh, doing a, a, a hard rock cover of uh, Huey Lewis in the news is really a good idea for this Battle of the Bands, that's a di- different discussion for a different night. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to definitely pick that up. I just got Doc Brown recently, and it's uh, very cool. Mm. Hey, um, can oh, I make a prediction? Yeah, go mm-hmm. for it. And it's on... It's on with this. I think we are going to get Johnny Be Good, uh, Marty, with the rest of the band, like you got the Mutagen Tour for San Diego Comic Con, where the box opens up and it's the stage from the high school. Uh, give that to me right yeah. now. Speaking of things I want right now while we talk about this, uh, this is the uh, teaser that NECA just put out this week of uh, the Doc Brown, 19, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 2015 Doc Brown. Um, so this will be the second Doc. And uh, it's just a teaser image they put out, but I need it. <laughs> like, I mean. I hope it comes with two heads. I hope it comes with uh, young Doc Brown head where yeah. after he takes off his like mask. Yeah. yeah. And then the old Doc Brown head. So I hope, yeah. I hope you get both. Mid-mask. Um, yeah. I mean, one of my favorite lines in all of Back to the Future is at the end of Back to the Future 1 when Doc Brown comes back from 2015 for the first time and Marty looks at Doc and says, well, what happens to us in the future? Become assholes or something? It's just like the greatest <laughs> line of all time. Um, but I mean, I'm really... No, it's your kids, Mark. <laughs> Something's got to be done about that. Uh, I'm, uh, Ryan and Jake, everybody's frozen now. It's fine. Um, this That's is fine. Like, We're just a bunch of frozen. Well, here's We're the thing. In time. It's, it's so it's cold. It's so cold. It's so cold. Um, 
<laughs> what do we think's gonna they happen? They should do something about it. Randy is back in full force on Twitter on uh, for NECA. Uh, he's saying there's at least three more Back to the Future figures in the works. I hope there's more than that. Um, but uh, I because I still think there's a lot of room for this line to grow. So after 2015, Doc. Clearly, I want Back to the Future three figures. Like that's the thing. I want Marty and Doc and Griff. I want a three pack. I want to call not Griff. Sorry, Mad Dog Tannen. Although I do want Griff. Um, nobody calls him Mad Dog, by the way. Keep that in mind if you ever run into him. Um, Jake, where do you think this line's going? I I would hope that we got we get to that point. Uh, Back to the Future three figures. I definitely want that. Uh, now saying that I want it to keep going. Uh, I've I don't I haven't bought any of it. I have one. <laughs> I have one that I was given from you, and I I did buy the uh, the like animated figures. But I do love them. I just I've been kind of stressed out to actually pick them up because I don't have anywhere to put them right now. Yeah. I, I'm having sort of like a crisis, a little where, space danger crisis, and uh, an SDC. Oh, I'm having it exactly. Well, mm. it's not that I don't. I feel like I have the physical space in here. I just need more. Detox shelves. Listen, I need more shelves. This week, I have ugh. this year, SDCC mm-hmm. is the Space Danger Crisis Convention. Nice. And it's going to be held right nice. here on Toy Anxiety. <laughs> no, <laughs> space is limited. Uh, so you're going to have a Jake, I, 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 we I'm need re- a shirt. I, I, I agree. I, and Jake, by the way, if you want a Toy Anxiety shirt, they are available in the YHS uh, shop at uh, oh, belowthecollar.com <laughs> slash YHS podcast. <laughs> Um, no, but seriously, I, I mean, I think I've waited for back to the future, proper back to the future action figures my entire life. I wanted to, I want now I know that we're not going to get any Crispin Glover figures, but I would assume that we can get, um, uh, Oh God, now her name's escaping me. Uh, Leah Thompson. Mm. And, uh, you know, once you have her, because they already have Tom Wilson <laughs> and, uh, Is you it, know, I wonder if it's possible for them to give us marty's dad from uh you know when he's like up from from back to the future 2 and he's like hanging upside down. because that's not crispin glover right mm-hmm. yeah i mean I maybe wonder they, i wonder if they can get away with it the same way here's the workaround <laughs> bob gale got away with it yeah 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 <laughs> we're gonna get a bob gale figure before we get a crispin glover figure here's what they need to do sign crispin glover for a friday the 13th part 4 figure which he'll do probably and okay. then we'll just pop the heads off and make customs Okay. That's what I say. That's a good idea. That's yeah. a workaround. I'm down with that. Um, so, uh, Ryan, anything else on uh, Doc or Marty before we uh, move on here? No, I think those figures are great, and I do hope that line continues. All right, cool. Um, so, here we go. This was uh, something right up Jake's alley this week. We we got a little tease of the Jaws Toonie Terror figure. I saw some mixed reactions. I saw some people saying it looked too much like the the bruce the shark funko pop but i don't think that's true um and even if it is it's not it's NECA and it's part of toonie terrors which is a cool line and i will definitely be picking this figure up well hey well here's the thing uh people who are saying that it looks too much like this is a very unflattering angle where yeah. you don't see anything but the mouth yeah. right so sure Shut up. Uh, <laughs> it's a toy that's supposed to look like a, a cartoon. Uh, I think it's probably going to look fine. I'm excited about this. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, so, yeah, those are my pictures. Those are my images. So I'm glad you guys could uh, take that little journey with Thanks us. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your pictures. For your pictures. Um, so, Ryan, Jake, I want to talk to you guys about this. Um it was announced that this upcoming Friday, Marvel is doing their first Hasbro Fan First Friday for Marvel Legends, first one of the year. Uh, Ryan, you're our, you're our, our core Marvel Legends uh, aficionado. So, what are you expecting from this uh, this event? What what is the more than likely reveals? Do you think we're going to see some like Wandavision figures, new waves? What what are you expecting, and what uh what are you predicting I'm, and excited for? I'm hoping they announce Wandavision. I don't think we'll see anything, but I think they might announce it. Okay. Uh, but I think we're going to see that full, complete wave of the villains wave that they're doing that has like Arcade and Damaruru and Lady Deathstrike and, you know, a Doombot, all that kind of stuff. I think we're going to get to see that wave. Okay. Uh, because they've kind of only announced two or three figures from it. 
Okay. So I think we're going to see the, the rest of that. Okay. And any surprises, any predictions, any like Hail Mary, like it would be amazing if this thing happened? Um, if It would be amazing if they did 90s Excalibur Marvel Legends. Okay. Like Shadowcat, yeah. Phoenix, <clears throat> I agree with that. Captain Britain, Megan, Nightcrawler. Well, Nightcrawler they've already kind of done, but I mean, if you get those, <clears throat> those four, bring it on. That okay. would be... Because then that's everybody. That's well, let's, everyone's pretty much done then for the '90s X-Men. Let's that's talk about missing, this, so. uh, Ryan. W- what are your rules? Walk us into your your headspace for for collecting Marvel Legends. What what do you um, what are your rules? What do you collect? What do you stay away from? What what is uh, tempting for you, but you you've been able to avoid so far? Because I don't think it would be impossible to be a Marvel Legends completist. I think there's just I think there's too many. Uh. I don't have really any rules. It's more of uh, if I like it, I'm just going to get it. Like, it doesn't matter if it's an Avenger, if it's one of the X-Men. It doesn't matter which era of X-Men, because I've got multiple era of Cyclopses, Wolverines, and Jeans. Okay. Right? So they're all across the board. Like, I've got multiple rogues. I'm a mess. I'm a hot mess. And it's like, when it's (laughs) X-Men, I want all the X-Men. Like, it's just, like, yeah. So if I can find them, I'll get them. And, like, because I just love X-Men. So uh, for Avengers, it's kind of just like if I see something cool and it looks cool in person, uh, sometimes they're impulse buys. Sometimes I just catch them when they're on sale. But I think, uh, you know, I, I I think the thing I really hold off on is MCU figures. I don't have a lot of them. But, like, I still got Ant-Man because it's Paul Rudd. Right. I think we all need a Paul Rudd. Absolutely. Marvel I'm legend. hoping to mm-hmm. get a Paul Rudd more, more. Uh, plasma series at some point this year. Be neat. I need it. Um, do you, um, so we know that the Sentinel was extremely successful. The first Marvel has lab that doesn't come out till later this year. I think Q2, Q3. Have they revealed the uh, packaging for that yet? Oh no, we might that, get a first glimpse of that. That's what I was thinking. Like maybe that first look at the Sentinel. Um, how about, how about yourself, Jake? What, what's the status of your Marvel legends collection? Um, you know, it's it's not very it's not a very big collection, but I'm I'm kind of trying to stick to just like the classic X Men currently uh, because there is so much and uh, like Ryan, I do just love the X Men, but I, I I don't want I'm trying to keep myself grounded and not just like go super crazy with just everything. So right now I'm kind of trying to stick to like the '90s X Men, and I have I have a list of what I'm like currently looking for. And then I have like a list, I have a list of like needs. And then I have like a secondary list where it's like, maybe I'll also get Mm -hmm. these, but it's like, I don't know if I actually need them just personally. I don't like, they're cool, but not necessary. Here's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then I'm, but I also kind of want to maybe try to pick up some of the villains as well. Uh, I don't want to just, just do the, the core, uh, you know, X-Men team. I want to maybe move on to some of the, but it, it's gotten to a point where I've picked up most of the ones that are, you know, uh, not expensive. And it's just gotten to the point where all the ones that I do need now are older figures. They're harder to get. And it's like, they're a little, they're just, a little more I'm, I'm watching out for them and I know I'm going to end up having to pay like a little more than I personally want to for them, but I want to get them. I'm also like sitting here like, oh, well, maybe they'll re-release that beast or something, you know, because they've been like re-released. Here's the thing, Jake, I'm going like, to tell you right now. Yeah, they will release beast again, but I promise you the way that the world works, it will not be until the day you buy it. The I'll day, buy it. yeah, yeah. The day you buy sure. Beast, Marvel's gonna come out and be like, <laughs> "Beast is back." I don't it's know, back, baby. I don't know how you sleep at night not having it. I literally am nervous about it's it. Hard. Beast well, it's hard. Beast is back, baby. <laughs> beast is I back, try- baby. <laughs> Welcome to Crop Top <laughs> Craig on the radio. Yeah, the beast, beast is- and the Beast is back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do this thing where okay. my uh, my Marvel my Marvel Legends are in um, the bottom uh, square of a detoff in the corner of the room, and I do this thing where when I walk in here, I like feel shame and I kind of like won't look at it. I'm just like <laughs> I kind of try to. I do that. I with feel bad about it, and I do this. Oh, and I just, parts of my animal because I island. because I know I'm. I just looked at it, and now I feel like shit. 
Mm. Yeah. I feel shame Dude, I well mean, before I make it to the toy room, but <laughs> Dude, I honestly think that we're gonna get some re releases of stuff. And actually here's a hell here's a prediction I think that's kind of like way out there but could totally happen is a retro carded morph. Oh, that'd be great. By the way, Ryan, I, are you like in your breakfast nook right now? I some, like I like somebody this. asked if he was in a nineties <laughs> yeah, office. You look like you're at a diner. I am. Yeah, I'm are you at Dex's diner? Are you at Dex's diner I, right now? I'm at Dex's diner. Hello there. <laughs> oh wow. Ah uh, yes. Ray Cameron says this is his favorite episode. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been and good. we're gonna keep going. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I real quick about the Wandavision figures. I I, I think that that's probably a, a a solid bet that we'll get at least announcement for some Wandavision like Marvel Legends or whatever. But I hope it's like. I hope it's figures that are, you know, the, you know how each episode's been like a different era of TV and they've been very, just their outfits have been pretty like out. I hope it's that kind of yeah. stuff. That would be okay, cool. so Jake, which if you could only buy one set of WandaVision figures, what era would you buy? <sighs> That's oh, a good man. question. Good, let, good question for the chat too. Also for the uh, chat, oh, I'll wait. I, w- I would just <laughs> maybe say the, the one from, uh, oh boy, was it the... Not the last episode, but the one before. Yeah, the, the 80s the 90s one. The 90s one, the Full House the one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So okay. I think the... So realistically, the 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 Halloween costume two-pack is going to happen. Ooh. Oh, that's a gimme. That is, that's, that's a gimme. gimme. That's a gimme. They should do a big pack. They should do multiple packs of that. That should be a wave, like where you get Wanda, Vision, yeah. and then it's like the build of twins, and you get like Quicksilver, and you get... Yeah, you know, build a, build a twin, build a twin, build a twin. Build a twin. That's also that going to be for the sh- the Hasbro Shining series. Build a twin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Abby, what's going on in the show? Michael Palmer was finally like connecting with me on Animal Crossing. He said, "How great was Festival yesterday?" Yeah. And I just wanted to say, "Oh my god, it was incredible! I got so many feathers, and I'm not going to take over the rest of this conversation because I know Skull. it's toys." <laughs> What? So, how was your festival it's mid- today? It's a midsummer thing. Yeah, watching Midsummer. How was oh, that? Oh, Midsummer festival? was incredible. Uh, I have a Midsummer section on my island, actually, on Animal Crossing. Um, and Midsummer was. I watched the full the director's cut, which is like a little bit longer and possibly more fucked up. Um, and <laughs> beautiful. I just I really enjoy that movie. It's been like a dreary, cold time in America. It's very cold outside, so I wanted to watch something warm that was like a, an escape. And it, <laughs> I'll tell you what. And it's. I I mean, it makes me feel good. Like it's such a feel good movie. Abby talks hey, about. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Abby. I, I so positive. It. Yeah. Abby and Jake talk about Midsummer like it's like fucking I don't know some some heartwarming romantic the comedy. Notebook yeah <laughs> it <laughs> is <laughs> that movie ends very well for that young woman I'll yes. tell you what real quick we won't spoil it um but this is kind of off topic kind of on topic Florence Pugh love her glad she's going to be in the MCU at some point <laughs> whenever Black Widow comes out <laughs> yeah um, right right but um. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I'll be watching along with uh, the the you know Marvel uh, Fan First Friday. And by the way, uh, we're gonna try to get some of the guys from the Marvel team to join us one week on Toy Anxiety. Uh, we I don't know if we'll be able oh, to don't do it. Promise that. I I've, we've tried. We'll and that. That. I'm putting out They're the universe. So cool. It won't be a live deal. I won't <laughs> subject them to that. It will be a pre. <laughs> oh no! They, I think they would do really good. They like yeah. it. Uh, well, they, they would do would a lot better it. than the Star Wars team would do. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't handle Ryan. Wow. God. <laughs> no, they could. They we totally were watching. Could. So the, the Star Wars team at Hasbro recently did a, a couple of Q&As with different fan sites. And literally, they don't answer any questions. Oh. They have uh, diplomatic and politically circling the wagon answers for every question. And it's hilarious because you got fan. There's a lot of hardcore Star Wars dedicated fan sites and publications. And there was the one we watched. And I, I don't remember who it was, but this guy has balls of steel. He he's from Germany, and <laughs> every question he was just like, "All right, you're not gonna like this one. Uh, I ordered this vintage <laughs> collection figure, showed up damaged. What are you gonna do about it?" And they're just like, oh, "Like it was like holy shit." <laughs> Like um, reroute to talking points. Yeah. No, I don't. I I don't that's, question, Star, that's um, Star Wars's thing, though. Like, remember when we uh, we went to Celebration and we were there? We had like a we were press or whatever, and we were like, oh, but we can't 
ask any nobody was allowed to talk to us remember it's <laughs> yeah, like yeah that's their thing it's that's like their oh thing. you can come and you can ask us questions but this is what they're gonna say yeah and it's a non-answer yeah and it's a disney lucas thing i get mm-hmm. it Political, i get it yeah. and it's Dude. being on the brand team for star wars at hasbro has to be a thankless job so uh, I, I still yeah. think my favorite question was the one woman that was calling him out about the wrong Ewok <laughs> and was like, yeah, there's a picture of this character, which is the wrong character. So that's wrong to begin with. So are you guys going to fix that? Or is that going to be like a thing? And I yeah. was just like, whoa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> but my goal is to get Ryan on one of these Q and A's. Cause I don't think yeah. they can handle, like What's I told I said, response? Ryan's just going to be lit. lead. Cause ev- here's the thing. When you watch these Q and A's, most of these people except for jake stevens who's a podcaster so he asks he's very articulate and there's a little bit of sauce in the way he asks the questions but everybody else they kind of run fan sites and instagram pages and stuff and it's very monotone very direct but i want to see ryan in his breakfast nook so back. when am i gonna when am i gonna get those uh walmart exclusives i pre-ordered <laughs> are they coming uh, in there seems to be a distribution problem that was an actual <laughs> question by the way that was an actual question. No, but I want this after, after Ryan's uh, third sex joke about Ray, they'll just yeah. log off. Uh-huh. Here's, yeah. here's Are you it. guys coming out with a scratch and sniff Ray? Are you guys doing a scratch and sniff series? Uh, uh, because is... that would be a great time to have a shirtless Adam Driver toy. This would be. Here's Ryan. Okay, here's he Ryan. Smells good. All right, Abby. Here, I bet he, he does because he just Abby, came out of the shower. Sandalwood. This is what we're gonna do. A little, mm, little improv vanilla. here. Little role play. You are now on the Hasbro Star Wars brand team okay okay and you are running this q a you're calling on me i'm ryan dole from toy anxiety go <laughs> uh ryan you've got a question for us yeah i got a question eh <laughs> so like i'm up here in canada eh and like I go to Toys R Us because, like, you know, we still have Toys R Us because we're not stupid Americans who, like, ran our own toy, uh, the biggest toy store out of business, eh? And I'm, like, wondering, like, is there any chance you guys are going to, like, ever get your act together? Or am I just going to have to, like, give my money to, like, Masters of the Universe because I can at least, like, find those figures? Um... Thank you for your interest, Ryan. Yes. Uh, we're very proud of our toy line and our partners. No, I mean when they answer questions, when they answer questions, they're fun. like, "Yes, we have a lot of big plans for Star Wars. As you know, we're not going to be able to reveal everything today." <laughs> yes, we do, and thank oh you God, for being Patrick. here. <laughs> that was like I fought on Patrick from <laughs> fucking Hasbro. Dude, I went to just... Patrick from Hasbro. I went to his LinkedIn. Like, oh. dude. <laughs> that dude has been that guy knows what he's a marketing dude for like 20 years like he knows how to answer questions dude. without answering questions it's an art form i'll tell yeah. you that dude yeah he is really good where it's just Diplomacy. like we really we really take uh you know we take the fans in consideration we really enjoy everyone's enthusiasm uh we see where you guys are coming from on this we understand there's distribu- distribution problems but we're all here for star wars and we all love star wars together so uh cross the divide know, Let's see what happens uh, later in the year. All right, next question. Sorry, I'm fixing my microphone with a screwdriver. This is the wow. most. <laughs> hey, un- where's that? Where's, the, where's like Kurt when you need freaky him? Freaky Friday yeah. thing where we Abby switch. Yell at him. Hey, hey can you wait? Could you not? Could Thanks. you not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can are, are hear we just it. All gonna pretend to be Ooh. each other for the last half. Wait, of the can we just roast God, each other? There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a fight. As there's soon gonna as be we shut this off. Those yeah. two are fighting. Yeah, we're fighting. Uh, uh, yeah. Although oh, I have no, nothing. Yeah, but with every fight, saying? a bed break. So now, I mean, there was oh. now. Hold on. There was a there was a comment in group therapy that I really thought about Jake today when uh when uh. I don't remember what it was in. Somebody said, oh, so shocking. Jake doesn't like a movie. <laughs> like, what was that about? That was pretty funny. Oh, what movie? What were we talking about? Uh, Probably Snyderverse. I don't Snyder remember, verse? but... <laughs> no, 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 no. It was Three Ninjas. It was in the Three Ninjas. Uh... Right, in the discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who wants to watch about, like, teenage ninjas? ninjas that aren't turtles? Yeah. Hey, you know what? Like, it's a bad I mean, movie. I used to like Three Ninjas until I was made to watch it as an adult. <laughs> fucking sucks. Hey, Doesn't Austin, so I'm fun when it's excuse me. Mark Guys, Lars is just better with furries, that's all. Listen, what? listen. This has been a f- I- I'm enjoying this episode. And yes, if you keep commenting, Craig's going to get the scissors and crop his top. Craig is not getting any scissors and he's not cropping any tops. Michael Palmer wants it to. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ray, Ray Cameron says, Toy has been dropped from the title, and it's just called Anxiety. This is just <laughs> straight up anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And next, we're going to roast you in the comments. God forbid they... Now, listen. I want to say something right now. This is Yes Have Some Universe. This is Toy Anxiety. We are 54 minutes into this episode. We have not said the word Ghostbusters one time. That's got to be some kind of a record. Wow. So you just did. Oh, well, now you, you just, just ruined, ruined it, it by saying, hey, yeah, wow. Well, by the way, hold on. Wow. You got to stop. If the Hasbro doing that. Ghostbusters team ever has a QA, imagine us in there. <laughs> Boy. Oh, man. Hey, Pam, do you like guys who build things <laughs> and off. run a Log Ghostbusters off. fan Pam. site? Pam. Stop it. Stop it. Stop oh. it. Uh, we, we love Pam. We're big fans of Pam. Huge. Okay. Uh, Abby. Oh, huge. Um, huge. What, uh, what, Absolutely. What else? I mean, I was planning on... <laughs> so, listen. Uh, it's almost the one-year anniversary of... Uh, I almost just said it's the one-year anniversary of Toy Fair, implying that the first time we went was the first time that it ever happened. It was. We are so egotistical. It, it was it. If I don't That's, see it, it doesn't exist. It wasn't oh. real until you guys went. It yeah. wasn't yeah. real. You know what I so, mean? Well, listen... Well, uh, we started Ghostbusters. We're, there's not a toy <laughs> okay, fair this year. <laughs> there's not. <laughs> there's not a toy <laughs> fair this year. Um, NECA seems to be. Uh, it seems like they're going to be doing various reveals over the next couple weeks. So um, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye out and covering it as we go. Uh, originally, I was hoping to do like a, almost like a virtual toy fair week where we covered a different brand every day. But like Super Seven's already done all their stuff. Hasbro is kind of sporadically doing, you know, Marvel and Star Wars. And honestly, I don't think, speaking of Ghostbusters, I'm not thinking we're going to get any reveals for another couple months at a minimum. So, uh, we'll, um, Pam, if you're watching this, which I'm sure she is, can you please let us know in the chat if you guys are going to do anything uh, mm -hmm. for Ghostbusters, for Hasbro, uh, please? Now, I will say this. Let I'm AJ excited. Know about that. I, uh, my Hot Toys Mandalorian and Child Deluxe uh, shipped. So I'll, oh. I'll be getting that next week. All right. Um, we'll do a, little, oh, damn. do a little review. I kind of forgot I ordered it. Um, listen, I love Star Wars. I really do. And I'm excited. I, I'm, I like Hot Toys, but I, yeah, obviously they're very expensive. Can't always get those. But I'm going to get a nice Hot Toys shelf going. I'm very excited about it. So. Oh, Anyways. yeah? Where you, where you got room for that? Put I don't. I'm, they're going to keep him at Jake's house, where he doesn't have room mm. either. I'm going to keep him at Abby's <laughs> house. Yeah, I got space. Tony <laughs> T Tony Taylor says the only thing missing from this crazy episode is some Snyder cut talk. And I wanted to say this is a fun episode, so we're not going to do that. Hey, we if you are <laughs> new to Yes Have Some, we just did a complete over our review. We did an, Can you believe this? We did an episode the other day where we discussed... The Snyder Cut, and then we uh, discussed Cara Dune and Gina Carano. So it was a kind of a weird episode of Yes, Have Some, but we had a lot of fun. And um, I will say we talked about it last week on Toy Anxiety, um, and somebody criticized us for talking <laughs> about it. Uh, but fuck that. We're going to still talk about it. We're still a toy show. The Cara Dune action figures are going for a ton of money right now. I think that's a terrible investment, not for any political reasons or anything like that. It's just they're not that rare. They're out there. Ryan, remember a couple weeks ago when you were toy hunting at Toys R Us? Wasn't there a hundred Cara Dune credit collections just warming those pegs? Oh, dude, that's all the shelf was. It was just like <laughs> one wall of credit collection Cara Dunes. And I, yeah. I'm pretty sure all the vultures went in and got them all now. Yeah. But it's like, who cares? And on top of that, it's like... Once all this dies over and we've all forgotten she exists, which yeah. will be like in another week, <laughs> that's all gonna like go down in price. Right. Yeah. Because, right. like, and honestly, I, I honestly think that like once all this dies down, all this right. the hyperspace hype. hoopla. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's you know, season three is gonna start and we're get, it's gonna be so good we're gonna even forget she was a character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, there's okay. a reason why the Ugnod is a pe is a peg warmer because he wasn't in season two. Mm. Oh, that's true. I do see the Kawil figure a oh, lot. Oh, yeah, dude. If it's not now, we forget. So huh. you know. that's right. Interesting. Interesting. That's that's good insight there. I like that. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, cool. So I, I don't know, man. I don't have much else tonight. I know this has been fun. I want to keep going, but I I'm I'm out of. Uh, Hang on. I got I got something that I think I'm going to make a prediction here as well. All right, go another for one. It. But this has to do with McFarlane. Okay. It has to do with today's comic book announcement, which was they're doing oh, let's talk about Batman. This. They're doing Batman eighty nine and Superman seventy eight uh, comic books, right. which are based on Tim Burton's and uh, Dick Donner's uh, Superman and Batman stuff, respectively. Uh, 
And I think that by the time Christmas rolls around and the trades hit at around Christmas time, they said the series is going to start in July. I think McFarlane is going to do a wave of those toys. I mean, I would love updated Batman 89 uh, designs. I love, you know, the designs they released today were so cool. They're so inspired. Uh, I mean, that looks like it's going to be a fun comic. What I was wondering, though, is are, will they keep that canon? We know Michael Keaton is returning for the Flash movie. Will the events in this uh, Batman 89 comic, uh, I don't know, have any effect on that? I don't know. I'm just excited. I'm it's more happening. curious to what, because it looks like, because they said, oh, the artist kind of said, like, well, wait, there's, they're going to introduce Robin and Two Face. And I was like, okay. So I think we're definitely getting Billy D. Williams. Two Face. Oh, that's cool. The, that's cool. In the comic, I think we're gonna get Marlon Wayans as Robin. I would love that. In this comic, go all and in. Which, and that's why I'm hoping McFarlane does it, because then we might actually get a Billy D. Williams Two Face action figure. That's what I've wanted That'd my entire great. life. Mm. I would love that. I wonder if Billy D. Williams is Two Face also can't pronounce like you know like how uh, Lando doesn't say uh, Han, he says <laughs> he Han, says- <laughs> and he says Chewbacca. I was like, Botman. Yeah, it's like oh, Botman. <laughs> Botman. The old pirate. Oh, now you sound like Drew McIntyre. Try that again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I'm just Scottish. Oh, Botman. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's Han, and he calls him Han, but it's Batman, so he's Batman. I see what's happening. Maybe he calls there. him like Bruce Wayne. <laughs> cool. That's just because he's cool. That's what the ladies call him. Uh, we got enough yeah. problems here in Gotham to work about. <laughs> what's he say? He's got a great line. Oh, Ghosts man. and goblins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got his cigars. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plus, I'd like to see that uh, Prince as one of the Joker gang. Listen, guys. When I'm toy- uh, as an action figure as well. When I'm That'd toy cool. hunting, so cool. when I hunt for toys and I'm out, you guys see these videos I do. I am that stressed. My forever mood while toy hunting is Commissioner Gordon and Batman '89 finding out that Eckhart is going down. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, access uh, access chemicals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's my mood. Like th- I'm always in that state of mind. Like who's in charge? Eckhart. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. Um, I love Pat Hingle as uh, Commissioner Gordon. I really do. I really think he's great. Um, so, uh, Jake, did you like that one? That was good. <laughs> I, I did. Uh, I think you need to be more like, but you need to turn your 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 Commissioner Gordon, you know, toy stress hunting more into a Joker toy stress hunting, and just like all of us run into a toy store with prints blasting, mm. oh, painting over, yes, painting over the figures we <laughs> dude. Hate. Oh yeah, go to like, like the- ripping them apart and be like, oh wait. Yeah, I like this. One. Yeah. That one goes in the-, <laughs> the live, laugh, love signs. Jake, Jake goes to stab my Wonder Woman figure. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> kind of like that one. <laughs> party man, party man. <laughs> this is the party man episode of a uh, toy anxiety. I like. Do you know what my favorite part of Batman '89 is? What's that? You know when they're all in Vicky Vale's apartment and he's like, "You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts." And yeah. then meanwhile, yeah. while he's saying that, Vicky Vale's like sitting there with her bowl of popcorn. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. and eating like just mm-hmm. chilling out, like not even reacting, just eating the popcorn. And it Dude, just my favorite kills me. is when they leave and like Bruce Wayne's coming to, and he looks in the hallway, and Joker does that weird like bendy move, and then there's like, <laughs> <laughs> like does that thing, and he makes a fart noise. Yeah. It's so fucking. <laughs> Dude, I've seen some people say they're like, well, I think Jack Nicholson had a great performance, but I didn't think he was a great Joker. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean you either liked it or you did it <laughs> like like and listen by the way i've said stuff like that i think batman returns is a yeah. fine movie just not a batman like i'm a pretentious <laughs> asshole no, it's a movie, more of a batman movie. <laughs> um well cool ryan did you get any comments for our fans of the week this week i didn't and i really wish i did but i'll get some for next week and hopefully we'll get some on like some batman stuff well why don't i look up a couple abby uh why don't you tell us what's going on in the chat do some plugs while i while i uh a lot of people are wondering if we're team godzilla or team kong jake take this one i don't have a i I don't have a dog in the fight (laughs) i saw people asking and i was like uh specifically just avoiding it because uh uh, that's why i brought it up uh, because they're going to team up. They're both good guys. If I had to choose, clearly it's Godzilla. But um, mm-hmm. whatever. They're going to be best buds before that movie ends. 
Mm-hmm. I, it's funny you said like you're saying they're good guys as in they're baby faces they're not villains but it sounded like you're like they're good guys i hate no, dude, with them. no that's what, like, that's how i meant it they're cool dude <laughs> you know what I mean? do, you, uh, do you think they're gonna do like the mega powers handshake mm-hmm. oh, do the mega powers handshake and come yes. in and be like oh my god i hope they do that so i want to see a jet jaguar godzilla handshake but with Kong and or one of those like what in the Predator when it's like the you know one of those big hands I'm frozen. Fuck, what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> no, you go. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about? One of those like yeah, whatever. I'm down for. Um, it. I just hope for the sequel that uh, Kong super kicks uh, Godzilla through the barbershop window. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It turns on him, and then they. Fight. It's not gonna happen. I love that. Like Marty Jannetty. Um, all right, Abby, let's go. What's going on? Uh, any plugs? Any last minute things here? Mm, people are more Team Godzilla. That's all I'm getting from here. Uh, people are, are enjoying the episode. Um, I'm Team Charles Barkley. I want Charles Barkley to come in and dunk on both of them. Uh, <gasps> I'm, I'm Team Dr. Pepper. Um, hey, so- I don't know if you remember, Ryan, but that ended with them as buddies, too. Oh right. man, they're starting. They're like NWO of kaiju. For, yeah, for sure. All right, guys. So this is the segment where we uh, every week we do our fans of the week, where we scour the internet for various commentary message. But one week we're going to do a whole episode of these. It's be the whole thing. It's going to be great. <laughs> um, we go to <laughs> message boards, Instagram pages, Facebook pages to find commentary from the really smart and thoughtful and nuanced and logical fans of toys out there. <laughs> And uh, we read them, and it's great. Before we do that, we want you guys to subscribe to the channel. If you're listening on the podcast, God love you. Thank you, dude, for doing that. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Get it wherever you get your podcasts. Leave those reviews on iTunes. And uh, it's going to be a big year for YHS. We got we had a lot of fun stuff planned, and clearly um, we're all counting down to GB Afterlife, which uh, we're going to do 20 episodes about that thing. Like th- As soon as Ghostbusters 3, let's just call it what it is, as soon as GB3 exists – that that you're not going to not hear about it for very long time like it's going to be unless it's like i don't know i don't think anybody's going to get sick of us talking about it we're going to talk about it longer than uh, gina carano's career oh that's for sure (laughs) oh boy we'll be dining out on it forever Uh, okay 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 (laughs) all right all right guys listen do you want to hear some political hot takes no we don't (laughs) let's not talk about people while they're down Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, Kate. <laughs> wait, who'd you, wait, what? Okay. All right, let's move along here. Let's move along. This is not a political show, uh, but Crop Top Craig will be on uh, NPR tomorrow giving all of my hot takes. Oh, about. people are singing the Kong song. That Kong, 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 Kong. Kong Whoa. Kong. Ch- this is how we get Jake Kong. to leave. Let me show. see that Kong. I love that. Thanks for being here, Jake. I like it when the con goes. I like it when the con goes. Um, all right, cool. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Don't now, look a con. Okay. We always have emotional pan- piano music to accompany. So here we go. We live in a society. <laughs> Sorry. All right. This is from the uh, Hasbro Pulse concerning some of the new Black Series releases like Jar Jar, Mace Windu. And others in the Phantom Menace packaging. Here we go, here we go. I can't wait to get my damaged card backs from Best Buy. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I don't, re- I don't re- read their names. I don't want anybody attacking them. But uh, Just us. Here we go, here we go. I don't know if anybody wants more Jar Jar. Would have been cool to get a Nabu security officer. <laughs> <laughs> what? I want more okay. Okay. Here's Here you go. Here you go. Ready? What? No Comtech chip? <laughs> uh, hey, I've That's got them. Good. <laughs> that was from Abby. That was from Abby. That's great. Hey, that was a really good reading, Craig. Okay, thank you. Thank that, that was dramatic. <laughs> okay, hold on. I think we have to start. Oh my god, this is emotional. That music got really emotional. Let's start it over. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got well, there's a bunch of these. So here we go. Hmm. 
What about package shots of the deluxe Boba Fett? <laughs> the first images were digital renders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Best Buy? What the fuck timeline am I living in? <laughs> All right, last one. We'll do one more, one more, and then we're done. <laughs> Fans first. Then they make all the figures exclusive. Hard to get, and if we do, they'll be folded in half. <laughs> <laughs> Stuffed in a box too small for them, like Best Buy did with my credit collection, Heavy Mando. <laughs> 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 People are not happy about these Best Buy Throwing releases. Throwing shade at Best Buy. Oh, dude, wow. I love Best Buy. I used to hang out there on the weekends when I had no friends, girlfriends, or boyfriend. I had nothing. I had mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. But I had Best Buy, and I had about 600 DVDs. Nobody cared but me. Uh, but No yeah, my, partners, no crop tops, no nothing. I had nothing, but <laughs> what I did have. By the way, did you see my tweet today? On uh, Twitter, I said, uh, from the Yes Has One Podcast Twitter, I said, all right, guys. HDVD, HD DVD or Blu-ray. We got to make a decision soon. <laughs> I was really proud of that. Um, that's the show. What did everybody think? Toy anxiety. We wow. did it. We did it. We incredible, did it. Incredible. We did it. If you guys enjoyed this show, make sure you tune into Facebook where we have Yes Have Some Group Therapy. It's our official Facebook group. Stay tuned for all of our announcements, merch drops, discussion. All sorts talk, of more stuff. More talk about Best Buy. More, more talk about Best it's Buy. It's the closest thing to a movie store that we still have. Yeah, exactly. It's and we got to like we... work on our Star Trek Next Generation uniforms. We oh, that would be fun. Oh, that yeah. would be fun. We'll get Hal Clay to join us for that one. He can do like a live sewing. I remember one year... Uh... <laughs> We just like feel a like cross rip instead of like just keep checking on an ecto. Sp- we'll uh, we'll sew costumes together. Check on Hal like, in the corner. So what do you guys think? Yeah, it'll be Make like it better Hal. It'll, it'll be like Wayne's World. Like, oh, let's go to Hal on the sew cam, and it just cuts to him in the corner, like Abby just said, <laughs> stealing her joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had it in my head first. <laughs> I um, think you did. It was simultaneous <laughs> shared experience. Listen, guys, Ryan shaved. None of us else did. None of us else did. I can't talk to I did it for Jessica Parker. She was getting confused. She didn't know who was who. Oh, and so yeah. I, I did one for her. So I tried to like think like tried Well, because it, it looked like we were all from Camino. It looked like we were all clones. All right. <laughs> looked like <laughs> Cypher Diaz ordered a clone army and he got the three of now us. Now you're Commander Cody and I'm Fives and Jake is Jesse, and now we all look a little different. And you're Ahsoka? Still- Can I be Ahsoka? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah cool. absolutely. And you know, and now we're Fly all... Fly guy. Uh, we're all the same, but we're all different. No, I'm Admiral Holdo <laughs> of the Ryan Johnson classic, TLJ. The last I would be Jedi. Holdo. Can I see your maneuver? <laughs> <laughs> get your cockpit out of your asshole. Trigger what did she say? Fly boy. No, get your <laughs> head out of your cockpit, asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody... <laughs> Says asshole. She says asshole. I love that it's like that's an actual line where she says asshole in yeah. Star Wars. Get it's your so cockpit out of your asshole, asshole. <laughs> Get your cockpit out of your asshole. All right, guys. Well, listen. We hope everybody enjoyed we fly themselves. That piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. One week we'll do. One week we're gonna have to do uh, our own version of uh, Star Wars quotes. It'll be great. That's like, cool. <laughs> I love you. That's cool. (laughs) (laughs) Here's a friend card, Leia. (laughs) Goes down. (laughs) Here's a coupon book for unlimited massages in the back of the Falcon. (laughs) Um. (laughs) All right, guys. For Abigail Gardner, Jacob Walsh, Ryan Dole, welcome to... Keep your cockpit out of your asshole. That's the last (laughs) thing we have to say for tonight. (laughs) We'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye, y'all. I gotta find the right button to push. Hold on. Just have some more. No, I'm just gonna end it. I'm just gonna end it here. Everybody dances. Kind of reminds me of my favorite Star Wars quote. You know the one that's like, uh, if eh. you have a broom, you have the force. <laughs>